Hey everyone, my name is Maya Simpson and I am the founder of ReFit. ReFit is bridging the gap between injury and fitness with corrective exercise. So chances are everyone in this room has either had an injury, experienced chronic pain, or you know someone who has. I have, and in 2013, I suffered a terrible knee injury that left me unable to walk, and I couldn't even actually move my leg. So I don't know if you guys know what a yoga strap is, but I had to attach a yoga strap to my ankle, pick my leg up whenever I wanted to move it. This injury led to two surgeries, a full course of physical therapy, and then I still wasn't back to normal. I could walk, I could move my leg, but I wasn't back to myself. I had pain, I had compensations. Um, so uh, naturally, as a trainer, as any trainer would do, um, I tried to figure out what do I have to do to fix myself. I became my own client. I researched, I stayed up all night uh, many times, and I trained myself with corrective exercise. Everything that I've learned during that period led me to a full recovery and also to create this program. Uh, ReFit is a corrective exercise system and um, it is here to help millions of people. Um, what I went through was not, it, it, it's very, it's not uncommon, it's very common. Millions of Americans are dealing with pain and movement limitations from musculoskeletal uh, injuries and causes. But this problem disproportionately affects two groups in particular. Baby boomers and Generation X are suffering from a diminished quality of life uh, due to chronic pain. Uh, 52 million uh, Americans are visiting their doctor for back pain problems alone. 53% of baby boomers specifically are discharged from the hospital every year due to a fracture. And of course, they're sent to physical therapy, just like I was. But I learned firsthand physical therapy does not lead you to a full recovery. Why? Because it's only phase one of the recovery process. So how do we bridge the gap and get to where my client Doreen is now? ReFit is a systematic approach to corrective exercise training. We use the FMS functional movement screen. Um, it is a, an assessment tool that allows us to identify the reasons for movement limitations and target the training to correct those, those things and um, rescreen to monitor the progress and to monitor the effectiveness of the program. And the best part is we are mobile. We are going to niche studios in the community. This is a local Pilates studio in Curtis Park that we are currently uh, partnering with. We, um, with our connection at Studio Lars, we were able to get into uh, conversations with corporate um, offices as well, where the companies will pay us for a series of classes, and, uh, and then we'll, we'll teach those classes to their employees. And we are also in conversations with Sutter Health right now, um, Sutter Health Institute for Health and Healing, uh, and where we will be billing insurance. And uh, the studio partnership is a revenue sharing or uh, we'll be paying rent uh, to teach them. So these are some of our exciting next steps. And I'd like to um, ask you all to tell me how you think ReFit and our program can help you and your network. Thank you so much, and I'll take any questions that you guys have. So um, I, I told you they were going to ask you how can the community help you, and you shared that a little bit. Is there anything else you want to add to that before we open it up for general questions? Um, yes, thank you. So um, we are look. We would like to uh, be introduced to your network and to you if you are uh, someone who has this this issue. Um, 
and also any feedback about my presentation, I would really appreciate it as well. Um, and So do we have uh, questions for Maya? Okay. So, you can go ahead. <clears throat> are you specifically looking for more instructors, more clients, people to help with marketing, finance, software engineering? Um, sure. What specific roles are you looking for? So um, I am, so I know it says um, <coughs> that we want to expand the team in December 2018. I actually would like to expand the team now. Um, I am looking for trainers. Um, People with experience in corrective exercise is going to be most beneficial. Um, I am open to uh, other roles as well, although I, I have some resources for those um, other things that you mentioned. You're done. Um, and, but I'm definitely open to, to other skill sets. compliment you were just spot on so often people just read their powerpoints know you had other things to say <coughs> you read it and your work got the point across really great thank you yeah question on your, your milestones um it definitely is where you need to be focused now but it makes me kind of wonder oh i'm wondering is there any milestones that you've accomplished that you want to let us know hey I've been able to do this and this, and they happen to be doing these things, so we've been making all this great progress, and now we're looking to do more progress. So yes. It makes a bigger chart, but it's uh, something I was curious about, whether it could be on a separate chart or on that one. Sure. Thanks for asking. Um, we have been getting out to the community, so with corrective exercise, one of our biggest uh, things is awareness and education telling people, hey, this solution is here, um, this is what it is, uh, helping them to understand it, and then um, you know, getting them screened and getting them on our, we're building an interest list for our soft launch um, that we're planning for uh, the end of this month, beginning of June, and, um, and so we have, we held a really great event last, uh, last Wednesday. Uh, we had about 40 people in attendance, and we got, um, I want to say, something like almost 20 or so on our list. And these are people who, you know, we've, we've got their contact information, we've got what they um, need help with, whether it's back pain, knee pain, um, you know, neck or shoulder, and then, um, you know, their availability, what classes they want to be plugged into. So we're going to be running our soft launch at the at Studio Wars. This was a huge milestone, this partnership, um, you know, reaching out to uh, the owner of this studio and saying this is the benefit we can provide to your uh, clients and, and really grow, you know, increase the value um, of what you offer. And so, uh, she, and then she just, she's really excited about it and she's actually opened up uh, her, her network to us and so she is, um, networks with Bank of the West Tower and also Wells Fargo Center and we're currently in conversations with them uh, to have them bring us on for their wellness program. Um, so are you insured? Yes. Okay, good. Um, and on a topic of legal counsel, you probably will want to make sure you do have very good. Cause, uh, so my background is I was um, VP of Marketing California Family Fitness for years. So we dealt a lot with um, personal training. And, um, one of the, for you, I think one of the key things you did right here is going to be all about strategic partnerships. And that's a great one. But another one you may want to look into that's local that will give you a lot of reach in this area is burger rehabilitation. Uh, physical therapy. Burger physical therapy rehabilitation because they, I think there's like 12 or 16 locations throughout the greater Sacramento area um, but their insurance stops at a certain point and they are not always fully yeah. recovered and so it kind of just ends there um, so we had partnered with them to kind of give them an extension of their therapy mm -hmm. to like build strength after what they've done mm -hmm. so that's somebody who is open to those types of partnerships Thank you so much. yeah and also it would be very complimentary to what they offer but they can only take it so far yeah so also um, VA hospitals may be a good partner 
Thank you. You're welcome. What's your business model in terms of, so CalFib reminds me of a subscription based you pay per month. So how are you going your, your, uh, your customers? Sure, so with the studio partnerships, um, we will accept payment up front before the series starts. We run classes in series, so six week series, eight week series, for example. Um, and they will, you know, pay for two to three um, series um, in phase one, and then we progress them to phase two, and then they pay for, you know, however many series that they need to complete phase two. And we continue to progress um, depending on, you know, what, what's needed. Uh, for the uh, let's see, for the corporate um, companies, so it's because we're in the beginning stages of conversation. I still all I know is that they pay for a series, and then we run the series. But with their wellness programs, what I'm uh, what I'm prepared to do, and what I'm thinking that they may need in order to continue to ask us to, to stay on is provide the evidence of, you know, workers comp going down, um, you know, and, and just the improvement that, uh, that they'll see in their, in their work environments. So, um, you know, we're, we're not billing them, but they are purchasing our, our service. And as long as we deliver the results uh, that they're happy with, then, you know, our, our <coughs> will continue to have them um, purchase the class series. And then for the medical groups, we'll be billing insurance. Um, and uh, once we're on the, it, it's an integrative, health, uh, integrative healthcare provider list that um, Sutter has. They have a really special program that um, is centered around being a, a comprehensive, holistic approach. Um, because these, pro these musculoskeletal issues, they don't only, um, they don't only affect your physical, you know, they affect, they spill over into all, all areas of your life. And so, um, you know, Sutter realizes this, and on this integrated healthcare provider list, you have people doing laughter therapy, and people doing writing therapy, and people doing yoga, um, and so Sutter uh, funnels patients, you know, to, to this list. And so, it, uh, it's, I'm yet to, um, we're yet to see what that's going to look like uh, completely, but that's that's what I know about it so far. So we're not selling any like so, uh, not a membership or anything. If we were selling a membership, we'd have to be in one location, but we want to be able to go out um, to multiple locations, and and this will, this allows us to do that. And then we work within you know what works for for that particular channel. So um, tell us a little bit about how you're leveraging your relationships in the healthcare community to promote your business. Thank you. Really good question. So um, on my my story slide, you saw that I've been in the industry for nine years. I've developed a very large network um, in that time frame, and I'm really leveraging my network uh, to get you know these connections. Sutter, I just happened to know someone, and I was able to just walk right in. Um, Dignity Health, I know someone as well, um, but you know, there's a kind of got a, um, we're a small team right now, so uh, we're, we're progressing toward that. And um, I know a lot of studio owners as well, a lot of people in the industry, mobile trainers even, well, I'm open to that. So um, really right now, it's a lot of, you, you know, reaching out to people I know um, and who know me and have, you know, know my reputation and my work um, and are willing to and excited to, to jump on board. So one that you didn't <coughs> mention or else I wasn't listening is, uh, uh, what do they call them? retirement homes? Like Escaton has um, a huge network of uh, people living in those places that are various levels of fitness. I'm wondering if that, I know they have classes and things like that, if that might be an interesting partner for you. Absolutely, yeah. We're wanting to go to Escaton and other retirement communities um, as well. And so we're looking to um, go to these retirement communities and not only hold, host classes there, 
um, if that's what they're interested in, but bring them to the studios as well. And this is another way that we provide benefit to our studio uh, partners. Do you have a connection at Escaton? I, um, I have, I, ha I do, uh, I just I haven't been in contact okay. with her for, for a bit. Okay. Uh, I do know someone there who's in marketing, okay. um, which is not exactly a direct play in, but um, she's really excited about things like this. So if you yeah. if you're interested, I can intro. I am. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm not leaving, taking notes. So that's right. We'll have the video and VA <laughs> and oh, that's right, the video. Thank you. I'm going to make it worse for you. Add one more on there. Okay. There's the fourth one. Okay. I'm not going to tell you. Oh. I think just the fourth one. Oh, come on. So it's called Revere Court. It's Alzheimer's, and it actually, they know that it helps, and I'll take you there and introduce you to the fellow. Thank you. All right, we have time for one last question. Anyone? Is there an app component to your or web presence, or what's your technology, your e Strategy. Thank you for asking. Now, I'm not sure if you're asking about this, but we do have an online client management tool um, through my certification through FMS. Um, they provide this tool, this uh, software, I think it's called, but I plug my clients into it. Um, and so we do teach small group classes, but because of the nature of this type of training, each person is still going to need to do homework. Um, individually, they're going to need an individual program. And so we plug their individual program into this online um, tool, and then they can access it from home. We can update it remotely, and um, you know they can um, continue to support what they're doing in class uh, Great. at home. Great. Now, maybe it was in there before, uh, or on a previous slide, and I missed it, or and then didn't catch it, or is it not necessarily in this presentation? It's in there. Yes. Okay, I it's that. just I didn't uh, talk about it that much. Yeah, so take credit for your infrastructure, your technology infrastructure. You've got it set up, it's working, you can grow it, expand it, change it um, as, you, as you learn. But yeah, take credit for your infrastructure that you've uh, achieved already. Thank you. Awesome. Well, thank you, Maya.